So I know feelings get hurt over the word evict, which means we get a removed from a place that really we know I get removed. And yeah, that, um, that post was posted by a parent. And basically, I, know he, I cannot control what my parents say after they power the meeting. It's almost like saying if any of you guys said something about the meeting tonight, then that's all Uncle Pat's on Uncle Pat because he's the leader of the meeting. Yeah. Um, no, no worry about that. It's like asking Solomon to split the child. Okay? That's what the scriptures say. And I really don't know too much about scripture, but just like I stop running the back of my head. If you want to ask me to split the child for me, my whole history has been to God. So the, then you're asking me to split a child that's 80 years old or split a child that's 40 years old. And that's where the, the, the line will be drawn. That I luckily am not the guy drawing the line, but uh, the processing that Kaumeke needs to use, and I think you will have to use it with the Department of uh, education. We have been told by June 3rd we have a hard deadline to okay. get out. So, so now you're saying I'm not going to. <laughs> how you so how you resolve that? Where are so we going to go? Where do you want? Like, we also serve kids from the, the hood. <clears throat> we also serve kids mm -hmm. that are beneficiary beneficiaries of Aina Ho'opula Pula. So, who says? What child we serve and what child we don't serve on this Aina Ho Pula Pula. Only the guys who's in charge right now of the Aina Ho Pula Pula that they lease. If the DOE is saying, I don't more room here for you here, where, where are we going to put you? At the DOE, will do. Kyoka, maybe I can go look around, but uh, from Kyoka's perspective, but the Aina Ho Pula Pula. The land right now is under lease to the DOE. DOE says there's no more enough space. You know what? it's not the DOE. Huh? We can squash this monkey. A bigger part? Um, it's the principal, the administrator of the school that makes the decision. Right? So Olen makes our decisions. Stacy makes your guys' decisions. Right? Uh, or no? You, you need to do yeah. it. If that's, if that's the way it is. Or does the CAS tell it? Yeah. That's not true? My understanding, my understanding, it's gotta be, Stacy is the principal here, but yes. she, she has to deal with somebody higher than her. Yes, the cast. The cast yes. and or which it ends up to the superintendent yes. the way that goes. So that's where that, that decision is being made. Um, the decision is made by the principal. What I have been asked by Colin Whitman to do is overrule the principal. So I'm, I'm looking into the situation, that's why I'm here, I'm gonna listen to what you guys have to say. And then I gotta go back and make a decision if I'm going to overrule her decision. But she already made her decision. So now I'm being asked to step over that decision. So now the ball is in the Kaz's court. He's gonna make that decision. So I think that's uh, your community, because we all live here and work in recreate in this community. And uh, even this whole misinformation, where this lies or where that lies, it always ends up with he said, she said. Um, and we're that's we've been here for 30 do. years. <clears throat> and that's we're what we're trying to do. Site to even start yeah. in. I just wanted to stand up and speak on behalf of Keokaha Elementary. What our principal did do is put a solid or a, a really firm deadline. But I do know from the time when it was an immersion school, immersion school under, um, <laughs> while I was here, it was um, Kumo Webster. Yes. I actually started teaching on Kaumek, well, no, Kulakaya Puni. No, for Kulakaya Puni. That's where I started. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have become a teacher. But I now work for Keokaha Elementary. But this is what I want you to remember. We work for all of the children. So we have to look where is the need. And really, when Kumubelo had said that needed those buildings, 
We really do need those buildings. When I first started here, only had 160, I promise, 165 English students. And then the other number was Kaumeke's number, which I wasn't privy to for whatever reason. I don't, I don't exactly know what it was at that time. But altogether, <coughs> we had enough room for everybody at that time. Well, our side, well, not our side or their side, but the English-speaking side has grown. And I know Kaumeke looked to another area for space, and they did get to go there. However, our site has not stopped growing, and I'm sure your site has not stopped growing also. But I think it's not very porno to put it on my principle to say that it's just her. It's not. It's looking at the needs of the community. And I love the kids from Kaumeke. Are you kidding? I do, and the teachers, they're friends of mine, okay? So that's a hard spot to be in, but I'm not gonna pick sides, but this is what I will say. Where is the need? What can we do? When did it start, the MOU? Okay, I just made a rhyme, that was just accidental. <laughs> However, really, when did it start? From Kumolehua's time it already started when he spoke with the, well, even before, yeah, with the road too, to say, okay, we're gonna need space, gotta start looking, you know what I mean? And they did. That's how they got the campus on the other side. I see that. But the thing was not finished yet because they still, we still growing. We are. And so that's what I'm coming from and I want that to be clear that I, it's not, <coughs> Her just making that decision is looking at what are the needs for the children? What are the needs for Kaumeke? How many more? I mean, you guys brought in a building, excellent. You needed to do that. We did what we had to do to make it work. And there has been a deadline, a firm deadline set. This is the third deadline, right? Or second. This is the second deadline that was set. Okay, two extension, third deadline. I don't know, maybe not, not, maybe not that good. But 